I know Scrum Casual loves this stage. He chooses to counter from here quite often. Oh, and he's going to up for the villager right now. So we can expect a very slow and campy match. <laughs> He absolutely loves us. So just so you know, for the viewers, expect a timeout here. Don't don't come into this oh, match shoot. expecting anything but a timeout. Oh, almost getting that gimp right there. Oh shoot. Sea Monster taking a good good attempt at uh, getting him off these ledge. And being aggressive with villager. You usually tend to wait for an opening, but you know, he's just finding it himself. In. Yeah. Now Oh wow, that recovery. I think it would be in Sea Monster's favor when he gets that percent lead to run away and just make Pat approach on stage. Score casual approach on stage. Wow, that good coverage of the edge. And what a gimp with those down airs. Sea Monster not enjoying that, shaking his head. He knows that was a mistake. He can bring it back though. He just has to get one of those himself. Scrub casual again, just doing so good with these games. Oh, shit. oh, and no tech! But he still gets back to the stage. <laughs> sea Monster not doing as well as he was doing first stop. Those trip seeds really gonna mess him up right there. Opted for these smash attacks, but he was just slightly outside of the range. Scrub Casual going far off stage for that edge hug. Wow. Shoot. And Sea Monster misses the tech again. Scrub Casual taking game one. I said Scrub Casual a million times. I can't really hear. I thought I heard Metal Pat. I said Scrub Book. <laughs> Metal Pat trying to correct me. Metal. Of all the people, I would expect like you and like Will to say that. Sea Monster thinking about a character switch right now. The determination in these men's eyes. Yes. If you see Sea Monster right now, he's really thinking. He's soul searching right now. Dealing with a campy villager can be some of the worst things with custom on. You gotta do what you gotta do, though. Scrub Casual doing what he has to do to win. That, he's always been a player with that mentality, too. Oh, I think we got Duck Hunt. That's an interesting choice, because he can camp a little bit back. I certainly agree with this option. Are we expecting a timeout with this matchup? Probably. More than likely, we can expect a timeout right now. All right, get comfortable, guys. Get comfortable. Timeout on its way. Now let's see what stage he has to go for. Goes back to battlefield. The salty run back right now. <laughs> oh my God. Pat's just gonna play it safe on the edge. <laughs> oh, he will. He will. He'll stay. He'll do just this. Pat feels no need to approach when he has the lead, and he doesn't have any need to approach. The pressure right. is now on the um, on Sea Monster to catch up. Yep. Oh no. Yeah, go. That's good. Oh, were they switched? Oh, my bad. Oh, pardon us, we had the uh, name switched for the first game and a half. Alright, here we go. Oh, nice tech though. Sea Monster saying you're not gonna catch an early gimp this game. Uh oh, almost getting hit with that bowling ball. 
Oh. You gotta love some of Villager's move options. Yeah. Bowling ball. Tripping and throwing a plant, like... <laughs> <laughs> the, the plant That's so pot. silly. I can't, like, not laugh. Boomerang. Oh, no tech that time. Sea Monster was probably expecting it, but just didn't quite execute right. No oh, shoot. Uh oh. A nice trap by Sea Monster. Scrub casual, feeling the need to rush in in that moment. Oh shoot. Sea Monster answering back with his own projectiles right now. And no tech from Scrub Casual as he gets hit with a can off the edge. Those uh, red balloons are really tricky. You always have to be aware of them. Yeah, the explosive balloons is what makes this character so like, good off the edge. Because mm -hmm. actually, you know, he loses his invincibility. In this game, if you don't touch the ground, you lose your invincibility, invincibility when you re-grab the edge. Oh, okay. So the only the reason why he can camp on the ledge for so long is because the balloons make it impossible to approach. Or difficult, at least. Right. Metal Pat opting to really take his time right now. Nice hit. That forward smash almost taking him out, but not quite. Oh, oh what a spike. dirty spike. Sea Monster for answering right now. Only three minutes left, though. Scrub Casual certainly has the lead. This match is so hard to commentate on. It's so hard to commentate on, like, really camp-out matches like this. Oh, shoot. Just, uh, they're just flirting right now, honestly. They're flirting? They're flirting. Dog on girl action. You go. No, you go. No, you go. <laughs> nice recovery by Siemens. Oh. Oh, no. Another gimp. Two O now on Scrub Casual's favor. Opting to go duck hunt again. Are you going duck hunt again? Mm -hmm. And we're going back. Notice Scrub Casual choosing to go for a boy villager this time. Percents tied right now. Difference from last game. This, the percents matter so much in every stock. Every every time one has a lead, they are not forced to approach. Oh, and Scrub Casual almost getting messed up right there. Sea Monster missing the gimp though. Sea Monster is really looking better though. Like he's really understanding Scrub yeah, Casual. He's got to take his time. You know what I mean? He's got he's got to let him play his game. You know what I mean? Mhm. Mm Now, Ken will do such a good job putting on pressure when he can just camp back. You know, and it never feels good to be caught by those missiles that no. the villager throws. But like you can the see it, it's this big yellow thing. Yeah. yeah. You can never give yourself that one. He really will do anything and everything to win. <laughs> I'm amused by it though. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for those of you who don't know, this villager method was actually originated by ADHD, the Diddy Kong player from Brawl, who really barely touched this game so far and came out to, I believe it was KTAR 11. I might be mistaken, but it was one of the more recent KTAR events. For, the, for one of his first Smash 4 events in general, came out to KTAR and beat almost all the top players there. I don't remember who he, it was that he lost to, but he did end up losing um, a couple sets. But it just proved, like, at the time, it was uh, it was a lot of controversy around if customs should be allowed. Because ADHD just found, like, someone the who, who had custom, barely yeah. been... Granted, this is a talented player, you know, a top player in Brawl. But someone who had barely touched Smash 4 had, had been able to get that far just from, like, some exploits and customs. Mm -hmm. So Metal Pat did not originate this method himself. Yeah. But he's utilizing it pretty nicely. Mm -hmm. Definitely has an understanding of how it works. A lot of space is controlled. If you look, he's going to drop a, a trip seed right now. So if he hits that seed, the other player is going to trip. So a lot of well, pressure... Well, the trip seed is already down. Yeah. No, it's like he just tossed it down. Okay. So a lot of pressure is put between the trip seed and between his, obviously, his balloons, the explosive balloons. Puts on a lot of pressure. And the missiles. Yeah, and then the multi-hit missiles put pressure on shields if they try to run up and pressure that, like, you know, through shield. And then, of course, his, um... <gasps> oh, man. His regular attacks, the uh, the forward air and back air, mm -hmm. which are just the boomerang, or not the boomerang, the slingshot, I mean, also put on great pressure. It's just such a good zoning tool when he's off the edge. More than half of the time it's gone this game, and it looks like these, neither of these guys have lost stocks yet. Sea Monster is behind in percentage. It's always better to jump over those missiles because they have the, the multi hit, it just puts great pressure on the shield. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. Forward smash, almost taking him off to the side. Watch out for that balloon. There it is. They're getting, this is really cool. Like, oh, this is a close game right now. Mm -hmm. But Pat, or uh, Scrub Casual, really just, he's got the solid lead and he's just going to keep it. Couple, like one or two more cans like that though, and that lead is is demolished. And that's all it takes in a game like this. All he needs to do is just win by a little bit of percent. Even one percent is enough for him to win this game. A minute left, and we've got a 16 percentage difference. Will Sea Monster close the gap? Or. Scrim Casual. Or decides, takes a risky move, decides to side B across the stage. Uh oh. Percent gap is really starting to close out. By this point, I really think it'd be in Sea Monster's best interest to really go for an aggressive kill. I wouldn't say that's usually the, the best option, but... Oh, good coverage with that up smash, just barely missing. Sea Monster accidentally has D. I think he realizes by this point the game is almost closed out. Alright, Scrub Casual taking game. What was that? Three? Mm hmm.